Hey guys, welcome back. This is my Russian accent. No. Um, yeah, we're back for some more of this game. It's Metro 2033, and this time... How's your family? Figuring out the, the obvious side story, which is his family. Seen them for weeks. And now we're stuck here. Yeah. Who needs all that? Uh-huh. And who is gonna feed your children, huh? Sturbenfehrer, perhaps? What the life? Maybe get the family to go to Ganza? You know what happened to those who tried. Bastards. Oh, I got a moral point for that. Oops, wait, now I want this. Okay. I'm gonna take these guys out. Uh. Stealth. Well, it looks quiet. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. I was hoping that one of them would come out. Got to be careful. Are they both there? Or is it just one? <laughs> the one. What's up? Prepare people. We've got visitors here. Stealth. Well, uh, I wasn't going any other way. They were both kind of just stuck here. What was I going to do? I don't know. Either way, it, it worked out anyways. Okay, so they're saying I'm supposed to look out for a generator. And so I got to keep an eye out for that. Like, I'm guessing I follow cables and shit. So these cables go into the ground. And I hear footsteps. Oh. So let's see. I'm guessing this is like a map which I can no longer see. Fuck. Seems quiet. What? Well, so much for that. Where's that generator? I wonder where that generator is. Probably down here. No? Well, they they have the same thing I do. Uh, all right. We've got I I you know what I could I never found the generator the last time so. Casualties. So I'm kind of wondering where the fuck it went, and I didn't really mean for this guy to come behind me. Is this a generator, perhaps? Please go down. Thank you. Oh, it's probably over here somewhere, actually. How's the generator working? Ah. As long as no one touches it. Damn shaky piece of junk. To the guard. Toha, Kozoi, come here. Watch the generator. And if I catch you playing guns, you're dead, man. Uh. 
Come on. Damn it. These things of wood keep falling down, but they uh they never catch me. Alright, sneak past this guy. Actually wait, where's the light? There. So this is kinda like um Splinter Cell? I don't know what the fuck the game is. I guess it's Splinter Cell, light bulb shooting simulator. Oh, fuck's sake. You missed- uh oh. We've got a real moron here. It's even the point in taking out the fucking generator if, uh... If I, if I keep getting- Okay, fuck that. I've had enough of their shit. <laughs> this is how I stealth. Uh, no, we're gonna come back out here, actually. Because the generator was here somewhere, he's like, protect it. Don't fall asleep, so I know it's here. And once I take out the generator, I basically take out all the lights. What? Okay, I'm like, that. stop making noise. That's not it. You wanted someone to protect it. Someone around here. No. Oops. Come on. Up here. So where the hell was I when I uh when I shot someone above me? Because that's where it was. Is it like down here? Uh, yeah, it must have been down here somewhere. I don't know. I'll know this for any time I decide to play this next time. Where the fuck the generator was. Uh, well, we're back in the metro at least. Well. That much was up. Fuck this! These pieces of wood scare the shit out of me. Oh, that's the generator. And now everything's really dark. Perfect for a guy like me using stealth goggles. Oh, and this is this goes all the way around. Okay, so now it's just lanterns and shit. Now the actual lights are now off. Nice. Wonder if I'm gonna stop making so much fucking noise. On the ground. They don't know where I am. All right, well, uh, I need to Here, figure out, land, you son of a bitch. I need to figure out a place to go up to. One of us. How the fuck do they know? We've got a real moron here. I'm in the floor. Fuck, we are losing people. <laughs> Flag him. I find this more funny than anything. Seems like a really bad spot for me. We'll just remain over here. Oh, there's a guy. This is like the best gun. I love this thing. Got a lot of ammo for it too. I have no idea where he shot me from. 
probably doesn't help that I stepped into the, the, the thing there. Into the light. Uh, let's just use our thing. You know, I think we're okay. We just got them all, so. Probably at some point it'll give me actual med packs. Actually, you know, there's really no point to those, because it's just, well, there is, but, you know. What I mean by that is, because of, because of the regenerating health, it's really not as important as you would normally think. Yeah, this is, you know, I'll be honest, like, it, you may think it's like, Mike, you're not really stealthing around all that much. Well, to me, this is my kind of, I like a stealth action game sort of a thing. I like a, I like a mix, you know? Kind of like, you know, I, I, I use it as an advantage, but not like as a, it must be the sole thing you do, and if they see you, then, well, fuck. It's over for you. <laughs> you know. Then you're arguing, why didn't I like Splinter Cell Conviction? Because that I expected to actually be a full-out stealth game when we actually didn't play that like that at all. Uh, what's down here? Have I been down here? Uh... Actually, I think this is an alternate way to what is ultimately going to be a conversation we're going to be listening to anyways. So let's just head up here. I, I'm I'm an amazingly dexterous or whatever the word is. Like I just I fucking just climbed up that like like it ain't no thing. Uh, let's just go real slowly. You ever hear the stories about Metro 2 and the invisible watchers? No. You've heard of Ragnarok, the last battle of the gods? Well, Metro 2 is the place where the gods of the Soviet pantheon will take shelter, if the forces of evil prevail. The legends say Metro 2 lies hidden beneath this one. Ours is the metro for the sheep, and the metro too is for the shepherds and their dogs. Once upon a time, the shepherds ruled the herd from there. But later, their strength weakened, and their sheep were dispersed in many directions. A single gate joined these two worlds at a place which now splits the map with a red scar. But something happened, and the gate to metro too was shut down forever. Those living here forgot about metro too. Though we are no longer aware of Metro 2, it does exist. It is all around us. Its tunnels entwined with our own. Its stations behind the walls of our stations. The two metros are inseparable. And those who believe that the shepherds could not abandon their herd say that they watch over us still, directing our every step. But do not show themselves to us. And that is what faith in the invisible watchers is. But why they do not wish people to know about them? First of all, sheep are sinful, for they turned down their shepherds in a time of weakness. And ever since Metro 2 was separated from our world, the shepherds have evolved in a different way. They are no longer human, but creatures of a higher order, whose logic is not understandable for us. They have the power to change everything, even to return the lost beautiful world to us. But because we were built against them, they do not take part in our destiny anymore. However, they exist everywhere, and are all-knowing and all-seeing. Only after we repent our sins will they reveal themselves and offer their help. And salvation will come. That's what is said by the people who believe in the Invisible Watchers. Interesting legend. Yeah, we're gonna head back down. To where we were before as uh that actually like i just wanted to listen to that conversation for you guys um that's an interesting little piece of lore i guess <clears throat> uh, uh i guess i can't really well can i go this way well i can uh was this the okay so there's, there's a room here with boxes 
Um, okay, we'll head down here. <gasps> I'm still digging the night vision. And the poo water, obviously. We're gonna try and be as stealthy as we can, because I usually don't get a whole lot of stealth in. I thought I thought we took this shit out. Okay, just in case you needed a filter. <gasps> Fuck, I still need this. Okay, now I shouldn't need it. Oh, we don't really need this right now. So I think we could just leave. But but we have to we have to kill all the people. No fun unless unless we have the highest kill count. Oh wait wait, oh this is where the guy was. We we had a conversation here and he gave me that gun. Cool ass. But he self passes he didn't fucking kill anybody for me? What a dasshole. What? Fuck. Damn it. Fuck his armor. Cheating bitch. Armor is against the rules. That makes stealth such a pain in the ass. Actually, turn this off. There we go. Now we can actually see. Shit, we're losing men. Well, let's just uh, pump up this thing. I think this is getting kind of low. Why do they call me girlfriends? Okay, how many fucking shots does he take to the face? Apparently 10. Oh, there's a guy right there. Well, we shot at the same time. I think that's everyone. We've officially killed everyone on this floor, and I get unlock every achievement. No, I don't know. I, uh... No, you get, you get rewards for playing it... Like stealthy, because that's apparently what like the the fucking rescue rangers would do. Not what not what a Mike Lat would do though. There's people to be killed. They were practically asking for it. They were dressing they were dressing provocative, uh, provocatively and uh, with with their armor, their heavy armor, and they were just like, "Oh, Mike, please throw fucking stealth knives at me." And I'm like, "Well, I can't say no." This guy died in a rather awkward way, though. Just chilling. It's kind of weird how the fucking night vision like stops making noise all of a sudden. So uh, we don't really need this anymore. Judging how, judging by how we're done, the stealth section. I guess we're going down here. <gasps> Unless this is not a place I wanted to go. I guess we'll figure that out in a moment now, won't we? The hell? Was I down here? I don't even know. Sorry, that was my stomach. And where are we now? I have absolutely no clue. You're claiming here and rest. I kind of killed everyone you stuck past, so what you did was a waste of time. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. 
something much worse. Wicked phenomenon, yes. But, you know, it's not any more evil than, say, fire. It all depends on your point of view. Try to get a better understanding of things before you make your judgment. Let's move out now. It's not safe here. 